When I came in here, it was about 40 something years, seven gunsmiths in the area, and I was the last one. Across the desert landscape of El Paso, at the time of day when most people would be settling in at the office, we found Chuy Aguirre amid the yucca, setting up for target practice. I love it, simply I love it. Hey, how come you are here? You work all day long with guns, you are always with guns, and you come here, it seems like you are enjoying. What might seem like a little morning R&R &R is serious business to Chewy, a business he has spent his life growing. When you specialize in fixing up firearms, visits to the shooting range are simply a job requirement. I'm trying to find out how good the new barrel is, because uh, it's a new barrel. This is uh, an old gun that was an old caliber, hard to find. Every day, Chewy takes damaged, run-down guns and makes them work like new. But he didn't become an expert gunsmith overnight. That happened after uprooting like a hardy tumbleweed and taking aim at Texas. How did you end up being a, a full-fledged gunsmith? Grandpa and my mother, they used to know a guy in, in Juarez. And I went up there and I started working. Then I discovered through, through reading that the United States was the place where a lot of guns somehow got discovered and they used the guns for, for our freedom. And then I said, well, I better try to be uh, in that country. And I made my application to become over here. And, and thanks be to God, I, uh, I'm here. Nobody understands pistols, rifles, or revolvers like Chewy does. He spent his life memorizing their intricate inner workings because when you're working with such a powerful machine, well, being knowledgeable is being safe. You know what? I've got to admit something to you. I'm terrified of guns in general. How can I get over that fear? Oh, that's easy. Just think about the gun is 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 as dangerous as uh, as a bicycle. You okay. don't know how how to ride that bicycle. Yes. You fall down and you may break your neck and then you'll be paralyzed forever. Right. But if you know how to drive it, everything is okay. The same thing with guns. But you have to know when, how. And each morning I tell my God, Hey God, don't let me use this thing unless you want me to do it. After 47 years in El Paso, it's hard to imagine him anywhere else. His roots have dug so deeply into this community that for many people, Chewy is the first and only person they trust with their gun repairs. But their connection goes far beyond goods and services. Thank you, Mr. Chewy. Okay, got to go. Good to see you. His customers don't just know his work, they know his story. My grandfather once told me to marry a good woman, buy a house, plant lots of trees, adopt a dog, write a book, and settle down and enjoy a good life with my family. You've been able to do all of these things? Thanks be to God. I have sold about 375 books. Only here, only my customers are the ones who buy them. My son told me, hey dad, you better start writing something because you forget it and that's true, you know? The, the, uh, I may, we may forget everything that we leave behind. I did that especially for my kids, but then it happened to be that it was good for my customers. There's some guys that tell me, hey, you had worked on my van during the last 30 years. What am I going to do without you? That's what they tell me. Chuy Aguirre is truly one of a kind craftsmen of his caliber grow fewer and fewer as the years pass by. After half a century of servicing firearms, he still loves the hard work, the challenge of a repair. But what he appreciates most of all 
are life's simple joys. Money, you know, it is necessary, definitely, but not, not that much. I have a good family. Uh, I help them to grow up. Uh, I have a wife. I have a house. I have a car. I have a dog. All those things because I'm, I've been working hard.